Welcome back video editors. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make an ad for your dropshipping business, or your brand, you can use this template for any kind of product, you just need to change the names. Also, to create this video, you will need Filmora 12, and the plugin new blue effects in Filmora 12. Watch the video until the end and I will show you everything step by step, how to create this. Before we start the video, go in my description and get a subscription on Elements in Vado for the best stock footage. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Firstly open Filmora 12. Then add a default text to the timeline. I'm gonna type Nike, but you can type your brand name there. Choose the font Yoast Extra Bold, it's a free font that comes in Filmora 12. Now double click on the text and go to Advance. Remove the animation of the text. And enable outline, change it to this dark blue color, and change the fill color to black. Play around with the thickness and opacity of the timeline, to get the same result as mine. Now copy and paste this text two more times and adjust it as I'm doing. Now double click on the first text and add a keyframe for transform, and move it with the X position to the left, until it's not visible. Add a keyframe on the second text as well and move it to the right with the X position until it's out of view. Add a keyframe for transform on the text in the middle, and move it with the X position to the left, until it's not visible. Now go forward one second in the video and just click on this button here. Do the same thing for the rest of the texts. Okay now for this part of the video you will need the plugin new blue effects, you can get it on the Filmora page, with the subscription. If you don't have it, write a comment down below and I will make another tutorial on how to do it without this plugin. Take the auto pan effect and drag it to the timeline, On top of the texts, change the preset to ease in. After that copy and paste the same effect and change the preset to ease out. And this is the result of this. Export this now and add it back to Filmora. Drag and drop it to the timeline. Now let's add the product image to the timeline, adjust it as you wish, this is how I want to adjust it. Add a keyframe for transform in the beginning of the video, and move the Y position down, until the product image is not visible. Now move 1 or 2 seconds forward and with the Y position move it until you see the product in the center of the screen. Now let's add a shadow for our product so it looks more professional. Click on the product image, go in basic, and then enable drop shadow. Choose the soft drop shadow. Play with the shadow in white color, so it's visible for us in which direction the shadow is going. When you're done, just get the color back to black, and it's done. Now 
Now let's add a text to the timeline, and choose the Montserrat black font, and type half the product name. OG Panda Beats. Add another text with the same font and type the other half of the product name, adjust them as I did. Change the color of the second half of the word so it looks cool. And now let's animate the text. For the first Snea text add the push transition, and adjust it as I'm doing. For the Kier's text add the string blur animation, and go to advance so we can adjust when we want it to appear on the screen, meaning we can adjust the exact timing of the appearance of the string blur animation for the Kier's text. Follow how I'm doing it. OK. When you've done all of that now it's time to go on Elements in Vado and download this footage, I will put a link in the description for it. Add this below the product image, and the two texts, Change the blending mode to screen and crop to fit the background. Next what you want to do in the middle of the video add the glowing stroke, as well below the two texts and the product image. Double click on it, and change the blending mode to screen and lower the opacity to 27%. And lastly, now let's add the animated price tag. Drag and drop a default title to the timeline. Double click on it, and go to advance. Click on add a shape, and add a circle shape text. Change the fonts of both texts to Montserrat Black. Type the price in the circle, and use the second text as a dollar sign and add it to the circle, so they look like they are together. Adjust it, so it looks perfect, and remove the animation of the text, Change the colors of the text to gray and add them to our original video. Go to Transitions, and add the Warp Zoom 6 transition on our price tag text. And voila, this is our final result. Now subscribe to Flat Media.